Hey everybody, welcome back to Over a Pipe. My name is Martin and I'm super glad to have you back for another tobacco review. As you may know, I like to do reviews, discuss tobacco related topics, and you know, help those in the community with securing some of those rare blends, such as Esoterica, the Penzance, or the like. Let's get into a, a review today of Savinelli's Brunella Flake. A little bit about this review from TobaccoReviews.com. This is an impeccably structured blend featuring a foundation of sweet, tangy Virginias and cool burn, burning burleys. A dash of Macedonia leaf is added to round out the mixture and add a hint of exotic. Now, the different leaves are aged as one in order to marry and harmonize the flavors prior to being pressed into a tantalizing flake. And we're very fortunate to have an older perspective by Jim Inks in 2014 where he said, the flake is a little moist and very easy to rub out or fold and stuff. The tin aroma is sweet honey and lots of fruity citrus. The light Virginia is a tangy citrusy, lightly breaded with a little grass and honey and a few hints of earth and spice and some creaminess. The Burleys are supporting players, offering a slight nutty sweetness and earth. A touch of Macedonia leaf provides a very slight floral essence. The top note of honey kind of reminds me of graham crackers, and it has a mild nick hit. Won't bite or get harsh even when pushed. It burns at a slow to moderate pace, cool and clean, with a very sweet, smooth, consistent flavor from start to finish. The leaves little moisture in the bowl and requires an average number of relights. It has a sweet aftertaste, an easygoing, can you guess, <laughs> all day smoke. But shall we discount our most recent opinion who comes from Emeritus in 2019? The tin note of Brunella Flake offers up some type of fruity note but does not overwhelm the blends and, and adds a tasty flavor but the smoke aroma does not purvey an aromatic room note. My palate must be more sensitive than others because this seemed to be a bit, uh, this seemed to bite a little bit initially but tamed down a wee bit after employing the, you know, different <laughs> breath method or whatever method this guy's using. However, the chemical burn or bite remained to the very end. I don't get the strawberry aroma that some have mentioned, but definitely some type of mild and semi-sweet fruit and topping. I don't have a strawberry handy to compare. However, my olfactory glands might require a little maintenance or fine tuning. The top note is very lightly applied, but noticeable while smoking, and there's a mild taste of honey in the blend, reminding me a little bit of Oh Honey Candy. Virginia is the lead guitarist in the group while Oriental plays second fiddle and Burley plays a little rhythm and at the halfway juncture the trio was in perfect unison and started playing better as the varietals melded together and the tobacco flavors began dancing to the beat. As Topper, a previous person stated, hitting the minor notes. At that point any single flavor of the varietals became indistinguishable and the band played in perfect harmony. Brunella Flake requires a number of relights and burns fairly cool and slow. It can be a relaxing all day smoke. It is quite tasty and leaves a lingering sweetness on the palate and I think Brunella Flake is a pretty darn good semi-aromatic tobacco. It is much better a couple of months after breaking the seal. However, after a few years of age, I feel it will bring out more sweetness, less harshness, and without a doubt, will be a smoother, more enjoyable smoke. I bought one extra tin to sell her that I'll probably sell her. The only drawbacks for me with this blend was the continuing bite to the finish and it was too mild to suit my smoking preference, but that's just me. Others possessing a palate of leather or numbness may find this blend more suitable. I see his point. Finally, how could we forget the enlightening conclusion of Sasquatch, 
who opined about this blend. I think this is superb. Took a few bowls to get it. Now I got it. Closest kin is probably McBaron Navy Flake. This is more Virginia forward and I find an odd almost sour note, maybe the Macedonia, against the sweet zesty Virginias and whatever gentle sweet casing there is. I don't smell fruit outright at all. So where Navy Flake moves in the spicy dark direction with the patented Cavendish, this moves more in a sweet sour sort of way. In the bowl, it's soft smoking and pleasant, nothing earth shattering. The room note is nice. To me, this is an anytime, all-purpose tobacco. I expect it to age wonderfully, and am starting to sell it this. Not a ton of nicotine here, a typically MacBaron Virginia offering in that way too. Tasty. I get some of his points as well. This is a uh, Savinelli blend manufactured by McBaron. The blend type is a Virginia base with contents of Burley, Oriental, Turkish, and Virginia. The cut is a flake. The packaging is a 100 gram vacuum sealed tin. The tin note that I was getting from this was very much figs and bread like, almost, almost reminiscent of a fig Newton. The pre-light was sweet breadiness and figs. The moisture is a little moist out of the tin. I, you could probably incur some tongue bite if you don't give it some drying time, which is reminiscent of McBaron blends. The strength is mild to medium. The taste is definitely medium. I don't detect any flavoring, but that could be the work of the Orientals in here or the, this, the Macedonia. The room note is pleasant for the most part, and I don't think it's very off-putting. I'm curious to think what you're curious to think what you think about this blend. Let's think about this thinking of blends, shall we? <laughs> I do feel that there's a bit of a chemical-y taste to here. I wanted to think it was the Macedonia, but I could be wrong. Hmm. I have enjoyed this blend. and it's, it's been very tasty. There's enough nuance that it keeps me, keeps me very entertained on this blend. Well, that's going to wrap up this tobacco review, at least for today. I really appreciate you stopping by and having a pleasant smoke with me. I hope you enjoyed this review and maybe even got entertained. Hey, maybe you even got some actual information about whether or not you should try this blend. So this is Martin from Over a Pipe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'm going to leave you with them, with them, with them final thoughts. <laughs> with some final thoughts, go out there and get yourself some uh, Savinelli Brunella Flake. Get you a nice little summer blend cob. Light it up. And smoke it. <laughs>